What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys. It's your girl, Leah Huncho, and I'm back after about a year with another video but this time it's gonna be better i'm gonna be filming as you can tell by the title a uh, get ready with me senior edition i really kind of emotional slightly but i'm happy because you know i really i'm really happy to get started with my life and with my journey and yeah so i'm happy but it's like a bittersweet because i know i'm happy to go out there Honestly, it's whatever at this point. I'm just ready to graduate because 12 years later, baby girl, I'm tired of school. I'm tired of waking up early, 6 in the morning, getting dressed. As you can tell, I don't have my hair done, so I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to film that. Um, I'm about to make a Walmart run because your girl. It, oh, yeah, and by the way, hold on, I'm back. The time is 1.29 p.m. August 17th. I currently start school tomorrow. So, yeah, this is very late. I have to go to Walmart, get some more school supplies. I'm going to get back to y'all when I'm on the way to Walmart. Hey, you guys. So, we're in Walmart. And look at my mom. Say hi, mama. Hey, how are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> She's trying to act all proper. She's gonna be watching this video. We here in school shopping because my sister. These things are empty and I didn't show no remorse. Everybody say hi to Kamani. Hi. So, yeah, don't be mad at me, but I've been home for a little minute now for about 30 minutes and I just been really chilling but I'm about to eat and then I'm going to do my hair I don't know if I'm going to show that because that is a little process or whatever but I'm about to do my hair and currently right now it's raining and that's really bothering me because we got school tomorrow and I don't got time for it to be raining Anybody that lives in Charleston or even stayed a little bit in Charleston know can tell you how bipolar this weather is. Because I promise you, yesterday, we was just, like, the devil was breathing on earth, for real. Because it was just over 100 degrees. It was, at least that's what it felt like. And now it's raining. But yeah, I'm finna eat a little TV dinner or something slight because I don't need nothing heavy because I might just go to sleep before doing my hair. But yeah, and then I'm gonna do my hair. But be patient. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to y'all when I'm doing my hair. Bye. Woo. Okay, so what I'm about to do now is install my wig, and I guess I'll just let y'all see that process because. You know, but I'm not going to do it like a tutorial because I'm not the best. But I'm going to just let y'all see how I install my wig. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to just tell y'all a story time on my worst high school, like, experience. Like, my worst, you know, times in high school. And y'all, and this story time about to be juicy. I'm about to tell y'all how, because since I'm a senior or whatever, when I was a freshman, a rumor got made up about me, y'all. So like in ninth grade, right? You know how everybody trying to find that group, trying to find, you know, who everybody wants to be around. So the middle school that I went to was like a different 
every year from where the high school I was going to. So it was like all the friends that I had wasn't going to the same high school I was. They were going to like the the local high school that they normally supposed to go to. But me, I had changed schools basically. So pretty much I didn't have nobody to talk to. So I was just hanging out with like all the seniors. And just so happened, I, we was just talking about like a party around like a neighborhood party. And I'm not like, I never was the party type. Like I've been to two parties my whole life. I was like, you know, I'm about to start partying. Like I'm young. I'm in high school. This is my first year in high school, so why not? I mean, why why do? This is what I should have asked myself now. Why not? Why do? We went to the party and it was just like dark. It was like really it wasn't even a party. I'm a freshman. I went with like seniors. So that should have already been like a no-no for me but um since it was like so close to my house my mom was just like yeah you can go yeah so i went and we walk in whatever you know my now nah, y'all i'm young we walk in soon as we walk in i bust a twerk on the floor and the part the that ain't even the worst part the part is i had a skirt on a oh y'all could just feel a little cat ripping i had like a little dress on so like, oh, as I'm twerking, you know, I'm probably showing some underwear. It's, it's somebody at this party that I had gotten the altercation with. And, y'all, uh, I'm far from scary, but also I don't go around picking fights. So, I was just like, I don't know, I'm not feeling it because she was already looking at me funny. So, I'm just like, you know, I'm sitting on the wall. Well, not sitting on the wall, standing on the wall. Like, everybody partying, everybody drinking, but I'm just sitting on the wall. with the people I came with, I'm, like, talking to them. So, anyway... As I'm sitting on the wall, this boy, I'm not going to say his name because he's now deceased. And I don't want nobody to come up to my name. Because, so. y'all, these people, at, ooh, I look crazy, but these people in South Carolina, Charleston to be exact, are crazy. It's crazy. So, anyways, this boy came strolling upon. And he just was, like, coming to talk to me. He was like, you want to give me a dance? I may have danced to him a bit. That's it. And he was, like, intoxicated. Like, he was smoking weed. He was drinking. He had, like, he had this bottle. He had a whole liquor bottle. I mind not. This is a party with high schoolers. Nobody at this party is 18, 21 and over except, like, probably, like, the parents of the person who was having a party. So, I'm like, you know, how do you drink your liquor? He was, like, you know, drinking, intoxicated. So, anyways... We talking or whatever, chit chat. My, I said the I, the house was dark. It wasn't even a house. The apartment was dark. So it's like everything is already dark. The only light we have is like the disco ball or the piece of light, you know, that they using. But it's not like light. It's like dark. You know, it's like a blackout party. Anyways, y'all, so, yeah, the, anyways, so, yeah, the, like, apartment was, like, dark, like, it was, like, no light, so, I'm, like, so, we, you know, we on the wall talking or whatever, and so, my dress had rolls up, y'all, I know it sounds hard to believe, really, me and this boy didn't do anything, like, I don't even, it was, we wasn't even, like, talking that long, he just came over there and said something to me. And asked me what my name was, and it was that. He was like, "What's your name?" You know, you know how they be doing them. He was like, "What's your name?" And they was spraying because it's so loud. So you was spraying the person. And that's what he was doing. It's like asking me what my name was or whatever. And y'all, so boom. So my dress started to rise up, and he was actually a gentleman. Like he was pulling down my dress for me. Like it was a fitted dress. It wasn't one of those flare dress. And you know, any slight of movement, your dress rising up. He pulled it down for me. So, let me just re-say that. He pulled it down for me. Like, the same girl, y'all remember, said was looking at me crazy, y'all. She was standing right there. And I'm looking at her, looking at me. Next thing you know, she get on a mic. Y'all won't believe what she say. 
she said, oh, they doing something in the corner. I'm like, who, y'all, it seemed like she was just like, she got on a mic. She was like, they doing something in the corner. She already don't like me, y'all. So I'm like, oh my goodness, like everybody from school is at this party, like people looking at me weird, y'all, literally. I'm not doing a, a dime. Like I was never doing anything like y'all, but when she said that, it felt like all the lights went like booming on me. It felt like, you know how like on the stage and just a big spotlight on you, that's what it felt like. And I'm just still, and the people I came with, not even taking out from me. So I'm like, dang, like, I I want to go home. After that, like, before that, I was just dancing, you know, on the wall, you know, singing to the song. But after that, I was just like, damn, like, I want to go home. Like, after that, it just seemed like everybody in the party was looking at me weird. I just was ready to go home. Finally, we end the night off, y'all. Then we going back. Um, Then the next day was like a school day or like two days after that. Y'all, I get to school, I kid you not, everybody is talking about it. I'm like, I go on my first period, they come up to me, Aaliyah, why they say this and then third? Why they say you was doing that with that boy? Y'all, and it's so bad because I didn't even know the boy name. So I'm like, who, what boy? I don't, I don't know who that is. At the time, I didn't know his name. I didn't know his name. But like, at the time, I'm like, who is that? Like, I don't, he didn't even go to my school. So I'm like, who is that? Like, I don't know who that is. I never did anything. Y'all, I'm a freshman. So they already sighed out of me. All the seniors talk about me bad. Like, they right here down talk about me, but they what they don't know is that I really did not do anything. That girl was lying because she never liked me because, like I said, me and her had gotten to a previous altercation back some years before that. But I thought it was dead. Like, our beef was dumb. Like, our beef was dumb. Like, we wasn't even beefing. She just used to try to bully me, and I ended up fighting because, you know, I used to get bullied, and my tempers were short when it came to bullies. But, so... Anyways, I'm getting to school, y'all. Everybody talking about me. And what really hurt me is when one day, right, I go into another class. Like, I was, like, in my fourth block, but I think I had left some, but like, in my second block. I went to that class, and then the boy opened the door. He was like, yo, you get F in a party and slammed the door in my face. Y'all, I was just so hurt. Like, they tarnished my name in that school. Like, I really was not even the type of girl to do all of that. Like, I'm right here, like, literally going home crying because everybody think I'm doing something with this boy. And I never did anything with that boy. <sighs> Anyways. So, finally, I guess it died down. But, you know, there was still a few people who brought that up when it was never the case. But that was just like my worst experience ever. honestly my lesson or after that i honestly never went to ever a party again because one i was traumatized and for two like it just wasn't my cup of tea i just did it to find my group or what i liked and also fit in you know but party is not my cup of tea i like to be home i like to do like weird stuff so i was embarrassed but um, I'm going to finish letting this dry. When it does dry, I'm going to get back to you. Actually, I don't know. Y'all going to just see me next. Okay, guys. Finally, after Hello. about five hours later, the girl is finished her hair. But I already wrapped it up to go to bed. Now, all I got left to do tonight is, like, pack my book bag. For tomorrow get the things i need like so i can just wake up and have everything in order and ready because so i won't forget anything because y'all my memory is so bad like i forget everything but yeah so that's what i'm gonna do and um 
what else and then just shower as you can see i got makeup on my shirt but just shower and that's pretty much it then i'll see y'all in the morning but right now we're gonna go pack our book sack so don't ask me why it's still got in the bag y'all i got this book sack from walmart for only ten dollars I don't know about y'all, but on the first day, like, we never get busy. So, all I'm going to really pack is my notebook. I got this color. This color. And as I told y'all before, my favorite color is purple. So, I got this. And, um, a few, a few pencils that I'm going to pack. And, yeah. But for me, packing, like, my school book bag is a little different. Because I work at the school. So, what I do is I pack my work clothes in my book bag. So I'm gonna just show y'all how I do that. So yeah, I just fold my like work clothes out real tight so it can fit. I put them at the bottom of my book bag. And then I get my work shoes and socks and put them like in the bag because I don't want nothing from the bottom of my shoe to be on my clothes or my book bag or my school stuff. So yeah. Put it in there. Boom. Like y'all couldn't even tell. I have a whole outfit packed in, and that's how. Um, usually since I go from school to work, I pack like these wipes I have. I'll show y'all in a minute, and I pack like a deodorant. I just started using this because it's the zero percent aluminum, and I heard aluminum and deodorant like I don't know the exact thing, but like I heard it's bad for you. So I just started using this. Hold up. Yeah, that's that dog. The Summer's Eve white uh, sensitive skin, olive oil, olive oil, however you say that, sensitive skin, because the girl can't be a And then I pack that right on my skin bar. And that's really much it. I do pack my purses because I have a purse collection. So I try to make sure like I have my wallet, my ID and everything in one purse without forgetting it and my lip gloss. So really I'm having my AirPods. My um matter of fact, I'm a I'm not gonna pack that because I use my charger and my AirPods all day. But like my lip gloss and stuff, I am gonna pack that, but I have to figure out which purse I'm gonna wear my outfit. And um the way I pack my outfit is, I just got this little bag. Like, my skirt came in this bag, and I just put my shirt with it. My shoes over there, my anklets, and everything, all my jewelry in one area. So, I won't be running all over the place looking for my jewelry. I just sit that by my book bag like this. Hold up. Just sit it, like, right here. You can see my purses. So, yeah. I really just have to figure out what... I really just have to figure out which purse I want to wear. And then I'll attach my, uh... I'll pick out my mask. I don't really have a lot of masks, but I have a few selections to go with my outfit. Then I'm going to pick out, um, oh yeah, I got a bra. And please tell me if I'm the only one. I have to make sure I pack this because, because I have braces, I have to pack my tree, my little tree brush thing. And it basically is like floss for braces to get the food out your brackets and stuff. I have to pack that. That is mandatory. If you have braces and don't carry one around with you 24-7, you're disgusting. You're disgusting. It's giving very much stink breath. Also, have a piece of gum. But for me, I'm so unprepared for school. I don't even have a piece of gum. I have to take candy and so I'm gonna just see y'all in the morning when I get out for school because I have I have to be up I think at six o'clock or six thirty. So I'm gonna talk to y'all then and till next time. See you later. So good morning you guys. No, I'm really tired, but right now we're gonna get into that face wash with the Dr. Brona. So
so like take two brushes over here <laughs> I couldn't really flat iron my hair because I'm kind of late, but that's just going to have to do for today. So yeah, guys, I'm pretty much ready to go. Um, it's giving. I like it. I got the gold earrings on. I got the gold necklaces on. I got the Tommy Hilfiger shirt, the white tennis skirt, and then a Tommy Hilfiger shoes with the gold anklets and then i got the tommy here for the purse black and brown hair so yeah i'm pretty much ready but um i'm gonna just pack like a snack just in case the breakfast is not good but um yeah see the shit i'm so excited this is my last day this is my last first day so you already know this goodie and a motherfucking hoodie Shout out to GOD for keeping me alive to see my 12th grade year. And I'm pretty much just happy at this point. We made it to school. We made it to school, y'all. But we, ooh, we made it to school. Say hi, T. Period. Good morning. Okay. Uh, Aaliyah. Period. Y'all, so we going to our, our home rooms. We want our homes to get our um, schedule. And that's pretty much it. I'm just wanting to see who in my class. Like, y'all, y'all don't understand. This is my senior year. Like, I don't really too much care about friends or nothing. But, like, I still don't want to be bored my senior year. Period. Everybody loud here. <laughs> All right, see you later. I'm in 12th grade, 12th and, grade okay. yeah, and my favorite animal is a hippo. Is a hippo? Yeah. So y'all, I don't know if y'all can hear me, but we in lunch right now. First lunch. Ooh, I got, and it is so packed, y'all. That's 
that's not even half of it. It's so packed. But y'all, so I'm finna end off this vlog. It was nice ch kicking it with y'all, but your girl got to go because I'm tired. I didn't end up going to work. I ended up calling off because of it was just tiring my room so i'm gonna edit this video. i'm gonna edit some video i'm gonna edit some parts of this video tonight and then i'm edit the rest tomorrow i'm gonna drop it tomorrow but um yeah bye thanks for chilling with you guys wait thanks for chilling with you guys